In 2017, newly revealed documents revealed that a collector in Pittsburgh had among his collections two Apollo-era NASA computers, as well as hundreds of tapes. These tapes may have had a link to unknown information relating to the exploration of space, but we'll never know now since NASA ordered the tapes to be destroyed. It's believed that the collector who stored the computers and tapes in his garage died in 2011. It's said that a man contacted NASA back in 2015. This was after discovering NASA computers in a basement and garage he was cleaning out. Not only this, but there were also magnetic data tapes dated between 1967 and 1974. These were labelled as Pioneer Probe Missions. NASA released the following information in a document back in 2015. Recovery of possible historic 1969 NASA data tapes. This administrative investigation was initiated upon receipt of information from Redacted. A NASA official who advised Redacted located in Pittsburgh contacted her regarding her computer with a plate labelled Goddard Space Flight Center, NASA property and reels of magnetic data tapes. Several were labelled 1969 that were found while an acquaintance was cleaning the residence of a deceased person. On December 1st, 2015, the reporting agent interviewed Redacted regarding the NASA reels and computers. Redacted explained he scraps precious metals as a hobby and for additional income. Redacted stated he was approached by Redacted, the Redacted of Redacted, who was aware of Redacted's scrapping hobby. Stated Redacted recently passed away and had a lot of electronic equipment at his residence. According to Redacted, they explained that he could have anything he wanted from the residence. During the weekend of November 14th, 2015, Redacted is cleaning Redacted's home and discovered approximately 300 reels of tapes from NASA, dating from 1969 to 1972, along with two large computers bearing NASA's markings. Redacted moved the reels of tapes to his residence, but left the computers at Redacted's house because they were very heavy, adding that a crane was likely used to move them. Redacted stated he wanted to do the right thing and return the NASA property. Redacted relayed he has a key to Redacted's residence and would accompany investigators to inspect the computers. This potential recovery of NASA historic items was coordinated with Redacted History Office, NASA Headquarters. Redacted advised he would like to review the real text for historic significance and requested assistance from the NASA Office of Inspector General in collecting them. Interestingly, this was all kept quiet. It was only because Motherboard got wind of what was happening and then issued a report using a Freedom of Act information request. After this, the documents were released to the public. As some have pointed out though, although the documents were released, a lot of the details have been redacted. One thing that was made clear though was that NASA did have all of the files destroyed. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has been responsible for numerous incredible achievements and has made countless discoveries. It's one of the most prestigious research agencies in the world and one of the first to conduct space explorations. Since the first launch into space, there have been many technological advances and discoveries. However, NASA officials have also been responsible for several errors and failures, which shows that regardless of the studies or experience they may have, it's still possible to make mistakes. It's no secret that only a few of those mistakes have been exposed to the public. One significant mistake made by NASA was losing the original footage of the first moonwalk. NASA officials claimed to have searched for these missing tapes since their disappearance was confirmed. NASA have stated that the tapes were simply misplaced, but many people doubt this due to the vast number of tapes that must have been lost. The question is, how did they lose such valuable tapes? Before the tapes were lost, clips from the footage were broadcast on television. These first steps of man on the moon were an unparalleled achievement in space travel at the time, and therefore it seems unbelievable that these tapes could have been misplaced so easily. Many theories were created regarding the whereabouts of these missing tapes. 
Some say they were hidden from the public for security reasons. Others say that they were really lost. And there's also some more complex theories. One of the theories created by a community of people who don't trust the credibility of NASA states that these alleged missing files are hiding something. And so the space agency got rid of any evidence that was on them. However, in recent years, these missing tapes were found. It's believed that more than 2,000 tapes of recordings were considered not important by NASA and were demagnetized to be reused for other occasions and therefore ended up at an auction. A NASA intern purchased approximately 65 boxes of these tapes in an auction. Not knowing that the tapes had such important footage on them, the intern planned to sell the tapes on a television station where they would have been recycled and reused for new recordings. However, the intern then noticed a label on the outside of the boxes identifying them as the Apollo 11 mission. The intern had heard the story of the lost tapes and therefore found a way to play the tapes in order to identify them. Once they were confirmed as the missing tapes, approximately two and a half hours of footage was recovered and digitized. Another topic this interested people is that of UFOs, and even astronauts themselves have come forward with their own stories. One of these individuals is that of Edgar Mitchell. Edgar Mitchell was the sixth person to walk on the moon's surface. He piloted the Apollo 14 lunar module, the first Apollo mission attempting to carry out scientific experiments on the moon. The crew spent nine hours working in its Framora Highland region, Despite being one of the lucky few to have experienced the wonders of spaceflight, Mitchell may be no more among the space community due to his outspoken theories on UFOs and alien life. Mitchell grew up in America amid the space race, a mere teenager when the suspected Roswell UFO crash occurred in 1947. Mitchell himself did not live far from the site of the infamous crash. He pursued a military career, joining the US Navy as a pilot in 1948 and was selected by NASA in 1966 to become an astronaut. However, it was towards the end of Mitchell's career and after his retirement that he became the focus of discussion about the potentially paranormal events that occur in space and those that he himself had experienced. It was during the Apollo 14 mission unbeknownst to the world that things began to get a little weird with Edgar Mitchell after experiencing what he described as a spirit above creation, Mitchell became ever more interested in paranormal phenomena and consciousness. He began to conduct ESP experiments, experimenting with psychic abilities such as telepathy, and he did this on board the Apollo 14 module. Chillingly, Mitchell's experience did seem to have an effect on him. He and a group of psychics later alleged they shared mental communications whilst he was in orbit. He later founded the Institute of Noetic Sciences, which continued the experiments he had been conducting in private in his space. During his lifetime, Mitchell consistently testified to the existence of UFOs. In 1996, in an interview with American TV program Dateline, Mitchell stated that UFO contact is very strong and that the US government was covering up alien visits and UFO crashes. The subject of UFOs in space isn't slowing down either. In fact, there's many that believe that these unidentified flying objects can be seen when looking at the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a large spacecraft that can be found in orbit around our planet. Over the years, astronauts have called this place home. It also serves as a science laboratory where various experiments have been carried out. The station was the work of various countries. Many nations have sent their astronauts to stay on board, and incredibly many parts of it were assembled in space by the astronauts themselves. It's not as deep in space as some people think though. It orbits our planet at an altitude of approximately 250 miles. Due to travelling at over 17,500 miles per hour, it orbits Earth every 90 minutes or so. In recent years, it's become important for space agencies to establish space stations in space. This helps with continued research projects and plans. 
There's various international space station cameras that give the public a chance to look out into the cosmos. However, every so often someone manages to record something that can't be explained. Here's some videos that have been captured by the International Space Station, allegedly showing crafts that are reported by some as being otherworldly. So what do you think that NASA had these computers demolished? As some have pointed out, they could have been placed in a museum to show how technologically advanced we now are. Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.